Howdy gamers, welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. We're not doing the Xbox this time, so for all my PC and mobile users, be happy for once. But anyway, I'm going to be showing you how you're able to convert walls from computer or laptop to tablet, mobile, any sort of mobile device really. Let's just dive straight into it. What we're first going to do is we're going to do computer to mobile. So what we're first going to do is we're going to create a brand new world. You don't obviously have to create a new world. This is just me showing it. I will also show you how to do it with an old world. We'll just create a just a normal survival. We'll call it uh, happy world. All right, and we'll just create it. All right, so we we spawn in a in a cave water. That's that's fantastic. Okay. So yeah, this is the world I have just created, pretty self-explanatory, and what we're next going to do is we're just going to just save and quit, just like that, you know. We made a world, and we're going to be keeping the icon as a key feature in this tutorial. So what we're now going to do is, is we'll just exit out of Minecraft, like so, where I get to share my lovely, lovely wallpaper. <laughs> Mercy! And what we're now going to do is we're just going to open up File Explorer. Once we're on this File Explorer thing, what we're going to do is this bar right here, we're just going to click on it. Uh, you want to backspace anything that's selected and you want to type in percentage, app data percentage, just like so. Now you will be redirected to a Roman thing. We just want to back out of that to app data. And there's going to be three folders, local, Local, low, and Roman. We want to click on local. And from here, what we can do is, is we can search packages, just like so. And now there might be quite a lot, but do not worry. We want to find the one that is under the C drive. Users, your username, app data, and local. Now, this folder should contain a lot of string of numbers and just random apps. Now don't stress about this or worry at all, but we're just going to use the search bar again and type in microsoft.minecraft and it should come up with this folder right here. We'll just click on it and from here we just do local state, games, com.mojang, minecraft worlds and this is the folder we need right here. Now I recommend having this folder on date modified as it shows all the worlds you've created within the time span. So you see my oldest world is 2022 and my newest world is from like two minutes ago. So once we've now got into this but we can just double check and this world icon, uh, yep it's the same as I last left it on. So yeah as a keynote you know if you're not too sure check always check the world icon image. What we can now do is, is we can safely plug in our phone to your computer. Now, some computers are unable to detect mobile phones, which I have experienced in the past. I sadly don't really have a fix for it. If anyone in the comments does have a fix, and if you see anyone in the comments talking about how they're unable to connect their phone to their computer, please help them with it, as I sadly do, do, do not have a method currently. So we're just going to plug in our phone to our computer. Alright, so I have plugged in my phone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a new file location tab, head to this PC and head to the phone internal storage. Now this tutorial will mainly be focused on Android devices, but I do believe if you are on Apple, you know, you might have to, it, it, it might be the same, it might not be. If any of you Apple folks would like for me to make a tutorial, a another tutorial of this, but on Apple devices, please feel free to comment that. Right, so now, we'll, so now we're gonna head to the Android root, and there's gonna be three folders: Ob, Media, and Data. We're gonna click on Data. Now, if you're like me and you have a lot of apps installed, <laughs> we're just gonna narrow it down and just search up com.mojang, just like this. It should come up as com.mojang.minecraft pocket edition. We're gonna click on it, click on files, click on games, click on com.mojang once again, and then we're gonna click on Minecraft World. And there's gonna be folders just like the same as our PC one. Now what we're now going to do is is we'll just copy uh, the one I made for the tutorial in my oldest world. We're just gonna drag them onto here. 
and there we go they are now plopped onto this device just like that so what we can now do is is we can safely just eject it so if i just remove it there we go it's redirecting me back to this so we can safely unplug it from the pc and we should be i actually am calling someone how did that happen and now i'll switch to my phone where you'll be able to see the world in action so what we first want to do before we do anything is we want to head to settings scroll down to storage and make sure that the file storage location is on external if it's on application please change it to external otherwise it will not work so once that is on external we can back out safely click on play and there we go we have happy world right there so let's click on it and just like how we logged off there it is there's the pond we were looking at earlier except i am on my phone playing this now so that is the first part on how to get pc world onto your phone so we're now going to move on to how to get phone world onto pc so we're first going to create the world and we'll and this and we will name it all right so we'll name this survival world epic gamer land so let's create it and we spawn on some trees let's quickly drop down and then what we'll do is is we will just just have a look at these trees and then we can just save and quit now i do want to say you don't have to use a new world for this you can use your old world or just a world that you used to play quite a lot but but for this tutorial i'm just using new worlds and one of my oldest worlds to make it easier so you see that icon next to your world name that i created that is going to be a key part in this and my oldest world which has a flower those are two images we're going to be keeping an eye on so we'll switch back to pc and what we'll do is is we'll open the file explorer and we want to click on this bar remove what's inside it and type in percentage app data percentage and then press enter and then we want to click on app data it gives us three folders local local low and roman we want to click on local and from here what we want to do is we want to type in packages now there might also be other packages you know maybe for other games or for coding in general but we want to make sure that we that we click on the c drive users your username app data and local so we want to click on that click on the search packages and type in microsoft.minecraft just like so and it should come up with microsoft.minecraft uwp that is the one we want so we're going to click on it and there's going to be some folders we want to click on local state games calm.mojang minecraft worlds and this is the folder we're going to be primarily needing to be on but once you're on this folder on your computer what we can now do is, is we can safely plug in our phone to our pc all right so once we've gotten our phone plugged in what we're now going to do is we're going to open another file explorer tab and we're going to head to this pc and it should come up with your phone if it doesn't check your phone there might be a pop-up that explains what to do once your phone's plugged in or if your phone doesn't recognize it and your laptop doesn't recognize it at all make sure to update your drivers with device manager we want to click on the phone name the internal storage android and there's going to be three folders ob media and data we want to click on data now from here what we're going to do is we're going to search up com.mojang and there might be more than two folders but we want to focus on com.mojang.minecraft pe this one this one right here if you're like me and have two of them for some reason ignore the other one i don't know why that one's there but this one's this is the primary one and from here you want to click on files games com.mojang minecraft worlds and this is the folder we want to be on but now there are some folders and sadly we can't really tell what date they were created you know how i talked about the icons next to your worlds we want to we want to make sure we have that memorized so we're just gonna go through all of these worlds until we see a image okay a world icon that was not it here we go okay so this is the oldest world i have all right cool 
So we've got the Aldous Ward, we'll just drag that on here and just give it some bit of time to copy. So the one I've made for this tutorial, we're going to drag that on there as well. And there we go. We now have both the holders onto our PC version. So now we can safely remove our phone. And now what we can do is we can safely close out of this and we can open up Minecraft. So now that we're on Minecraft, we can just click on play. And here we go. Epic Gamer Land is right there. And if I scroll all the way down, there we go. My oldest mobile world is there as well. So we're just going to go on Epic Gamer Land. And I'll show you that it does actually, that the world does actually work. And it's not like corrupted or whatever. Alright, we are in the world. And as you can see, the trees we were looking at earlier on mobile are now here on us on PC. So there you go. It's, the world isn't corrupted. It's functional. It works fine. There's no like ping delay apart from the fact I'm recording on my PC. My PC can't really handle Minecraft, but that does not matter. What matters is, is it works, you know, you can mine, you can place, all of that stuff. So let's go to the oldest world on my mobile. There we go. So the world, so my oldest mobile world, here it is, right here. On my PC, playable, all functional, I can break stuff, I can place stuff, you know. I can chop down this birch tree, I'm, I'm sure can man 18 will like that and there all done i can craft i can do whatever it's just a normal minecraft world from my phone onto my pc so there you have it so that's how you're able to get minecraft worlds transferred from computer to mobile and from mobile to computer i would like to give a massive thanks to hackton for telling me about this method and i'll leave his channel in the description i'm sure he'll be fine with it so thank you gamers for watching make sure to have a lovely day evening or night and i'll see you in three months again because i am really bad because i i i am um... and i'll see you gamers in three months again